Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this video I will talk about the KDE animations and workspaces. Now can you remember that I have already uploaded a video that is KDE customization and specially look and feel section of the KDE desktop environment. But in this video I will uh, talk about that what are the animations in the KDE Plasma desktop, how you can configure those animations and what are the other workspace behavior and hot corners and uh, much uh, other things. So don't skip this video because this video will be very much uh, informational for you. So just, uh, uh, so just watch uh, till the last. And before watching, you have to just do one thing that if you are new to my channel, then subscribe my channel, hit the notification bell icon so that you will get the notification of my future videos. So now without further delay, let's jump into our main topic today. Alright, so we are currently running uh, KDE 5.25 that is the latest KDE uh, Plasma version and this is the KDE Neon uh, operating system I am using. So uh, to go to the uh, actually animations and workspace settings, so I have to go first the system settings. So just click here and I am going to the system settings you can see. And here in the workspace behavior just click here and you will see that uh, these are uh, the desktop effects so just click desktop effect now here you will see that uh, different desktop effects are there but before that i will uh, go to the compositor actually uh, kwin uh, is used in the kde that is the window manager and compositor you can see here that uh, compositing enable at startup if you uncheck it then uh, all the animations will be disabled and uh, and, and now scale method actually accurate and smooth accurate means uh, the smoothness of the animation will be actually uh, greater that is much smooth animation you will see actually and uh, the scale animation will be slightly less um, actually actually CPU usage is less in case of uh, smooth and slightly higher than accurate but uh, in KZ, KDE uh, actually uh, but now in KDE 5.25 actually smoothness of the animations are really improved. So animations are really smooth in older laptops also. So if you have older machine then KDE 5.25 is amazing. Okay trust me. And you can see the latency you can choose any of it if you prefer actually smoothness over the power option. So you have to change the settings. Basically here the default is balance of latency and smoothness. And also uh, uh, these things uh, you can see window thumbnail so all uh, these things uh, you can do here now I will go to the uh, uh, desktop animations what are the animations here uh, I will um, show you so just uh, go here desktop effects now in the desktop effects you can see that first of all the invert this will actually if I apply this now you have to customize his it here this is the settings so you can see this is the shortcut actually for each animation uh, a shortcut key is given uh, there uh, you can easily uh, see it and by by clicking or by, by uh, typing those shortcut keys actually you can enable the animation so you can see that uh, this is the meta control i meta means actually the windows key actually you can see so meta control i so that it will invert the colors that means whatever the colors of the uh, desktop and uh, icons whatever all will be uh, opposite color so just see it so i am now pressing meta control i so meta control i all right so you can see uh, the desktop is uh, totally changed you can see you can see this is just like a, a negative copy you can see so totally changed my desktop you can see my wallpaper has also changed and you can see all things are changed really so you can see my icons have also changed you can see <laughs> these are the icons so this is a really a cool thing actually you can see all right so basically i am disabling it now all right now mouse click animation if you enable this suppose mouse click animation now when you clicking the mouse some animation will appear so just configure here you can see to start uh, the things you can see this is the uh, keys actually you will see meta and asterisk 
okay meta star so actually meta shift and the key i, I have to uh, uh, actually uh, press so just i'm um, typing and you you will see that when you left click mouse then color will be red when right click the color will be blue and the middle click will be green so let's see it so just i'm uh, pressing uh, meta and star so meta and shift star okay so now it is enabled and you can see this is my left click here you will see that this is the left click and this is the right click so right click is blue left click is red and this is the middle click this is the uh, actually uh, green so this is really really nice animation actually this uh, this animation may be helpful uh, for you uh, to actually uh, uh, create a, a, a tutorial a video tutorial for the linux system also so that, that's all so i'm disabling it right now so now uh, another important animation you can see now this is the track mouse this is not that much uh, helpful okay but you can enable this you can try it and also uh, this is snap helper this is not uh, much that of thing actually when you actually resizing some window it will uh, show you the center you can see a cross mark this is all right and now uh, looking glass actually this will be a, a magnifier uh, glass now magnifier this actually this is actually a magnifier and you can actually uh, configure it from here also now you can now you will see that this uh, fall apart this is a really cool animation now fall apart when you enable it you will see suppose i am uh, opening a window and when you uh, you are closing the window then the window will be uh, actually uh, scattered and uh, totally uh, breaks out you can see this is this is the fall apart so this is really nice uh, animation you can see this is uh, this is a uh, one of my favorite animation so just click here and it will destroy destroy the window totally so basically this is the fall apart and also uh, login and logout fading when you log in or log out the desktop will fade up okay and then uh, the light goes uh, off you can see and uh, now uh, another important animation you can see uh, these are already in default uh, by default it is enabled and this is not much uh, good animation and you can see translucency now wobby windows this is actually a uh, very good so wobby windows when you enable it you can see now if i move this window so some webbiness you can see it is actually distorted actually defo deforming it and you can also uh, change the wobbiness from this settings so configure the suppose, wobbiness uh, suppose i am giving the uh, maximum wobbiness and then uh, apply so you will see oh my god so you can see this is the much wobbiness uh, you can experience basically so this is really a nice effect and i very much uh, like it this is a wobbiness effect and uh, now uh, actually uh, now actually some advanced settings are there also to uh, you can adjust uh, the stiffness and drag and move factor so i am disassembling it rightly okay so now basically uh, i have this magic lamp behavior that means to minimize the windows default is squash and this is the magic lamp and you can see this is really a smooth animation all right so you can see this is the magic lamp animation to minimize and maximize the windows also you can actually change the animation duration suppose i am giving this uh, duration to uh, 500 milliseconds and so the animation will be slower and you can see this is very smooth and slow animations and this is really nice really eye-catching things right and the default is squash and you can change it to the magic lamp for minimizing and maximizing windows so all things uh, you can do that squash this is the this is the default you can see this is the default maximizing and minimizing effect now dim interactive actually when uh, you have uh, opened suppose uh, uh, two windows and uh, one is active window and another is inactive window so the inactive window will be darker so you can see that uh, uh, suppose i have uh, two windows open and you can see the active window is very clear and the uh, inactive window is darker 
so this is the this is the dim in, uh, inactive effect now slide back this effect i really like uh, pretty much personally slide back is really a cool effect uh, suppose you have two windows open and uh, when you switch uh, <laughs> one window and another so the another window will be uh, slipped back will will go back in a really nice animation now i am showing you uh, currently now you see these are two animations sorry <laughs> two windows and you can see suppose i am selecting this so you can see that the other window will get slide back with a really nice animation uh, as if uh, they are not touching each other okay so this is really nice so this is the really nice uh, slide back animation you can see now show fps this is you can actually uh, do um, you can actually see the kwin performance here to show fps uh, i don't need it now coming to the virtual desktops and here four desktops i am assigning okay uh, in default uh, one desktop is there you can rename these desktops also and so now you can see now i can actually uh, change something now you can see in the panel you can easily switch these uh, virtual desktops and this is the slide switching this is the slide switching and this is very very smooth animation and very effective so this is the slide switching actually by sliding the desktops and also uh, you change to the fade desktop so you can see the changing of the desktop is fading so this is a fade desktop i pre i i generally uh, recommend the uh, slide desktop this is actually really cool thing now window management this is very important now three window managements are there one is desktop grid overview and present window now desktop grid what is that all the four desktops suppose you have the four uh, virtual desktops so all desktop uh, it will place a side by side and you can actually uh, switch uh, windows open windows from one desktop to another desktop so desktop grid and you can see the settings of this uh, desktop meta f8 is the uh, shortcut key meta means uh, windows key that is the super key so you can see this is really nice animation of the uh, you can see the four desktop are placing side by side and i can actually uh, move uh, one window from one desktop to another desktop you can see this is really nice and effective way to actually divide your workload to different desktops so this is uh, this you can see this is really nice effect by kde really nice if you click then it will go to the that desktop and overview this is actually inspired by the gnome shell overview means uh, all the open windows and also the virtual desktops all you can see together in such a layout that uh, actually gnome uh, 40 uh, is using so it is inspired by gnome 40 and you can see this is the uh, shortcut meta w so just hit super key and meta w so this is the uh, this is the really nice overview so you can see in the upper side there are virtual desktops and in the lower side and also you can search from here uh, the applications and also you can see the open window so this is really a nice uh, thing and now present window this will actually uh, open up all the opened windows uh, currently you are working uh, from uh, the shortcut keys are available from the current desktop that is that means the from the current uh, virtual desktop or from the all virtual desktops whatever you like you can do that basically so here i have four virtual desktops you can see and uh, these shortcut keys uh, you can use basically you can see control f10 control f9 control f7 so three keys are given and you can see these are the all open windows so i can uh, switch from one window to another window oh, okay so this is very much a convenient uh, uh, effect that boost uh, my workflow actually now now window close animations uh, you can see uh, fade glide and scale you can uh, change uh, any of these okay and also you can get uh, new settings uh, new uh, desktop effects from the internet also okay desktop uh, q uh, sorry uh, 
the burning uh, burn my windows that that is the uh, extension already available in the gnome 42 and it is now coming to the uh, kde uh, still it is in the testing phase so you have to wait for some time now coming to the screen edges basically this is really effective way to boost your workflow screen edges are really helpful these are the shortcut uh, short ways uh, to actually uh, doing some things suppose i am opening another uh, thing suppose i am opening the console just go to system and console all right and now you can see three windows are opened okay so now in the upper right corner you can uh, choose any of these suppose i am choosing desktop grid and apply so if i go the uh, if i uh, over the mouse with the upper corner so you can see the uh, you can see so really nice uh, this is actually now this is the overview i can set the overview so if i uh, actually move the mouse cursor to this so you can see the overview so basically you can actually assign anything uh, what, what are the available options uh, you have in the hot corners or you can say this is the screen edges so this will really uh, help you uh, to actually doing some work k runner is really a good thing actually k runner is actually when you type something uh, without opening uh, anything in the desktop so it will open the k runner and it will search for everything that is everything uh, the settings the uh, applications or the files it will uh, now i am typing suppose firefox here firefox and you will see that uh, options uh, are available here so without opening anything i just type in the desktop and uh, uh, the search results uh, will be given by k runner so this is called kerner this is really uh, effective uh, uh, tool of the kde desktop all right so basically um, this is the video uh, all i have today so if you if you like the video then uh, of course uh, give it a thumbs up that is the hit the like button and of course subscribe my channel and to get the more videos and uh, uh, of course share it to your friends and family and use the KDE Plasma desktop it is really cool desktop and it is now very very smooth in the lower hardwares also so basically you just use it and this is very much helpful so thanks for watching my video see you in the next video till then take care and goodbye